Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. But for now, let's get into the video. Can the Europeans please explain this? It is 4 p.m., bro. This is my first time outside today and the sun has already set. You're just telling me the day is over now? Well, I mean, I can lie to you and say, I give it a second, the sun's going back up. Probably only took a lunch break. No, but I think she just discovered seasons. The closer you get to winter, the shorter the days. And I'm also pretty sure it's not just a European thing. But it's good to see that the education system is working as intended. Not to be extremely fun. British, but the worst thing about living in Bali is the dating life, okay? What the flying f is the dating life here? It's actually genuinely a joke. I speak about this with my friends every single day, and if you live long term in Bali, you know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? We all know, we're all going through it. I don't know if it's like a worldwide issue right now, whether like we're in our feminine eras and so are the men. Um, in that case, slay, queen. But um, what the f is going on? Why is everyone in an open relationship, okay? What is this? Kudos to you. If it works for you, fine. It's not for me. I went on a date with a guy recently and halfway through the date, he was like, oh, <clears throat> my, wife would, my wife would love to meet you. And I was like, what the bloody f What the f do you mean your wife? My dog barked, he's agreeing with my point here. What do you mean, brother? What do you mean your f wife? You need to... If you're in an open relationship, kudos to you, whatever. Do what makes you happy. Advertise it, yeah? I'm out here looking for a husband. You've already got a wife. Why so mad though? You're looking for a husband, you found one. And I mean, yeah, sure, it's someone else's husband, but no reason to cry on TikTok about Because I'm pretty sure it's not everyone in Bali. I would bet you found someone to match your energy and your vibe and all that. So if there's one thing that is my absolute heading, it's when boys pretend to be nice guys like i don't care if you're a boy just own your shit, okay with all things in life just own it right anyway so that there's this guy and after careful evaluation i've deduced that he is indeed a boy either that or he has the brain size of a walnut neither are cool okay so he messaged me and i literally replied with what do you want and he was like well what are your plans this week and i was like what's the point in you asking me this question is it so you can ignore me when the weekend actually comes around because last weekend i said Hey, I'm free. I've got half an hour from packing. Do you want to catch up? And you just like gave me nothing. And he was like, meh, 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 where, where, where? Full of excuses. And I literally said, no, come back to me when your brain grows, if it ever grows. Like, I'm not tolerating this crap. Honestly, ugh, dumb, dumb, dumb. Speaking of dumb, you posting the conversation you had with him, not the best idea. It doesn't make you look good. I'll read for everyone just listening. She said, and you gave me nothing, you big fat idiot. Where is your brain? He said, I move tomorrow. She said, what does that have to do with the price of fish? He asked, what does this have to do with fish? To which she replied, ugh, you're annoying. Speak to me when your brain comes back. And he said, okay. And the only problem I have with that whole interaction is him saying okay at the end. I don't mean okay. She called you an idiot at the beginning and she said, you have no brain you do not answer with okay i have been single my whole life because i am that girl that you could just not date anybody afterwards like you cannot have anybody after me because your girl will be mad the rest of your life i've had this happen so many times where i'll even just go on a date with a man and the girl stays mad she stays in my inbox he's with me now girl i moved on if anything, I'm at your dad's house. Please leave me alone. Was he already in a relationship with her when the two of you went on a date? That will explain how she found out about you, maybe? It still doesn't explain why you're single. Me not being able to date anyone else ever, like in the history of ever, still doesn't explain why you're still single. I could find you a hundred different reasons, but that's not one of them. I don't know how I know that girls don't dress for the male gaze, but at any Pilates studio. Go! Not a man in sight, but every hot girl you know looking her best is in there. That's because, contrary to popular belief, we do not dress for the male gaze. Them being hot looking their best doesn't explain how they're dressed. But most important, you want to know how I know I don't care? Well, let me show you. Would it surprise you to know that men who are pursued to be in the relationship that they're in often do not consider themselves in that relationship? 
I think there was supposed to be a point in there, I just couldn't find it. But I do know it would surprise you to know that you have no idea what you're talking about. You have no idea how men think. If you've ever wondered what it looks like to not shave your legs for about three months, it looks like this. Um, I am in the middle of a divorce, but when I was dating my soon-to-be ex-husband, before we were even married, he like zeroed in on my body hair. <laughs> and I shaved my legs at the time. Probably not as much as he wanted me to, but um, he zeroed in on my arm hair and like very openly said that it was gross and that I should get rid of it. And that should have been a very huge red flag. Um, he hated me, spoiler, spoiler alert, like he hated me. Um, but at the time I was just like, oh, it's, um, it's cultural because he's from another country and um, where he's from, a lot of women do get rid of their body hair. And so it made me uncomfortable, but I was like, okay, I would just try to make it into a joke. And I was like, no, I'm a hairy American woman. <laughs> I'm not getting rid of my arm hair. Um, and he even went as far as to like comment on like if I hadn't tweezed and he would be like, you have to like take care of that before we meet my mom and my sister. And he told his mom and his sister that I was not very girly. And I was like, oh my gosh. Anyways, he, it was bad. It was bad. We were together for 10 years, um, unfortunately. And that part right there, unfortunately, is the only thing that makes sense. I think I'm gonna have to defend this somehow. Not because of the cultural part, because I'm pretty sure American women shave their hair. You don't, that doesn't mean everyone else doesn't. But yeah, there was no reason for the two of you to be together. I would never even want to come close to someone like you. So dating someone like you is pretty much out of the question. For him being that different, it would only make sense to marry you if he really wanted that green card. For you marrying someone that different, I don't think you even know why you've done it so i just spent the last 30 minutes crying about mother <sighs> i'm done well i know exactly how your next 30 minutes will look like i think dating a woman who low-key hates men is the biggest feat you can accomplish as a man that's how you know you've hit the top that's how you know that you're better and more superior than everyone else that you are because she doesn't even like men she thinks they're awful but she still likes you there's something great about you like you should be very proud of that and you should know that you're not going to get cheated on because she doesn't like anyone she doesn't any takers? I didn't think so. No, but come on, why not try? She hates your guts and she's gonna make your life a living hell, but what's not appealing about that? You've heard what she said, you're gonna be on top if she lets you. And yeah, she's not gonna cheat on you. You won't get any either, but a win is a win. You know, I'm no expert, but uh, I don't think that's a bird. Huh. I'm no expert either, but if I were you, I wouldn't wait around for too long to see if it lays eggs or not. Some things are more important than you being right. But anyway, this is gonna be it for today. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.